Hi guys, Matthew here. In today's video, we're going through how to achieve this loading by the percentage counter. And the good news is you don't need any plugins for this. Everything you need is right inside Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get started. So you already have your solid on your timeline. It can be your video itself. You go to your generator side under generator. You go under elements and elements. You select shape, drag and drop on your video. And with this tutorial, we'll be going for four to five seconds. So I'll cut this. Then go to your generator inspector side under there with fill with on take that we don't need it. And then circle with the shape we choose rectangle. That's the one we're going to use. You go to drop shadow, you drop the opacity to zero, we don't need it. Then if you want the side the edges to be a little bit curved or round, you can play around the side to get it. But with this tutorial, I'll just stick to the square edges. Then the outline color, we can change that over here. White was okay, so I'll use white for this tutorial. So you have something like this, then you go to your video inspector side, you click on transform make this a little bit small so we can see what we're doing then press on alt and click on this side and drag with this you'll be able to affect only the side the left and the right without affecting the top and the bottom and that's the effect we want so we just click on alt and drag this side now we can make that big so now we have our rectangle ready now we need to find a way to bring the bar into the middle of it and if you're really enjoying this so far we really appreciate it if you really like this video and subscribe it really keeps this channel going and i really appreciate that thank you guys all right let's go straight to it so with that you go to your test title sign and the title you type in type writer then you drag and drop on top of the shape i think it came to a delete one we need only one then click on that and go to your test inspector side and that there will just delete the title that's already generated over there then you type in i as many as you can i think with this i'll go for somewhere here that would be okay then go to the font style with this i play around area black but you can choose any font style that looks a little bit bold already at regular then i'll change the size a little bit bigger then you can just play around this to get it to the exact style you want. I think somewhere here will be okay. Now I can delete some of the eye. We drag it in the middle. Then you scroll down, you go to your face side. and the face, you can change the color over here. With this tutorial, I'll go with blue. It looks kind of, okay, let's go with green. So with the typewriter, I think it goes in for just two seconds which is really short we want it to be a little bit longer i think four seconds will be good for this kind of effect so with this this is what you do when you click on this you go here you can change the speed so this is what you do you just make a compound clip of it let's name it typewriter then now we can go back to this side and now we can slow it down i think somewhere 50 percent will be okay for this and i think it ends somewhere here so we can cut it from here we need only just five seconds from this so make a cut over here command b to cut from that so now we have something like this already as the loading effect so now we go to the part that will bring the percentage counter in which is really the easiest part of this tutorial so with this you go back to your titles Let's delete that. We we'll drag in basic title and we we'll drop it on top of the typewriter. Let's cut this so it will be five seconds. Now we we'll drag the title down somewhere here. Then we'll go to the test inspector, delete that, and then we'll type in loading in caps. With this effect, I think this font style looks cool. I don't know how to pronounce that, synchro letter or whatever it is. So yeah, you choose that and then we'll drag it somewhere here. Then we'll type in the percentage too. Then we leave some space in between them. That's where we're gonna put the numbers in. So with the numbers, you go to your generator inspector side, go to elements and elements, you choose counting, drag and drop on top of all the stuff you have on your timeline. Let's make a cut. We need only four, five seconds of this. So now we have our counting numbers already down here. Let's go to the video inspector side so we can drag it down. So transform, we'll drag it down somewhere here. We'll work on it later on, don't worry. Then we'll go back to the generator inspector side and we'll play around the parameters over here. With the font style, we'll go with the same with the loading. 
we choose the same thing and then the starting number will start from zero and ending will end with 100 then we go to the minimum digit we'll choose one we just need it to start from one digit then go back to your video inspector side play around the size the transform so you can get it exactly the same size with the loading and later on you can really get it for the sake of this tutorial i'll not go deep into it so that is it for today guys very interesting and easy to achieve if you really learn something from this please and please and please don't forget to subscribe really appreciate that as always stay safe love you guys peace out